back to my channel. It's Ray. If you're new here, welcome. Today I am going to be doing a twist out, but I am going to be using the Zotanicals products. I'm going to use the Mango Dip Detangling Slip as my leave-in to see how it works for that. If you have not seen my previous video on this where I use it as a detangler, I'll try to leave it here as well as in the description box. But yeah, I'm going to use it as a leave-in to see, see how my thoughts are on that. And then I'm going to chop it with the Marula Muru Moisture Guru for a um, twist out. And I think I'm going to do a flat twist out. That scent is so nutty. It's not my favorite scent, but whatever. So I have used this in the past. I do have a review on this product. I'll leave it here as well. And this is going to be a follow up to that to see um, how I feel about it. So basically I have been using a lot of Sotanicals products for a, for a wash day just to See how I feel about them and bring them to you guys. So I'm gonna go in with my leave-in first. I've already shampooed and deep conditioned my hair. So now I'm just gonna apply this mango dip detangling slip as my leave-in. And it does say that you can use it as a leave-in, a moisturizer, or a rinse out conditioner. So I'm using it as a leave-in today. And I'm really going to focus on my ends because the deep conditioner that I used was the Afrotastic Curl Elastic. And the batch that I have is one of the batches that was, what's the word for it? It had something, an ingredient left out of it or something. So it was a batch that was real watery that had gone out to a lot of people and Sotanical supposedly was not going to be replacing it until all these batches were sold from the stores. I actually got mine from Sally, so I did not try to take it back because the whole COVID thing and they weren't taking products and I've had it for a while, so I just said that I would stick with it. So I am going to add all of the leave into my hair first and then I will add the um, moisture guru when I'm ready to start twisting okay so I have all of the conditioner in my hair and I am going to start doing the flat twist and I'm going to start in the back and what I'm going to do is I had two sections back here I had one section and I divided it into two so what I'm going to do I just made it a little bit smaller on the bottom and larger on the top because the bottom I'm going to do as regular two strand twists and then I'll do flat twist the top portion. That just works better for me. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the moisture guru and I'm just gonna apply it to the whole section. I'm gonna do somewhat larger twists. Not as big as the braids. I did when I did a braid out, but not uh, many twists either. So. And I'm just basically working my way over the back of my hair. Put a little bit on this
basically I got three. One, two, and then one in the middle. Get my dimming brush to define my ends. If I feel I need it. Just to help them coil. So now this section, I'm just going to flat twist downward. You guys have seen me do this before. So I'm just going to divide it. Put a little bit of the Moisture Guru on it. Break it and start flat twisting. Okay, so I'm basically going to do the whole thing around my head and I will be back when I'm done. Okay guys, I have all of the twist in. So I have four jumbo ones there, one single one there, and then I have those across the top and the single ones in the bottom. And then I have three here and one there. So I am going to let this dry and I'll be back for the takedown and I will let you know how I feel about the mango detangling slip as a leave-in along with the Marula Muru Moisture Guru follow-up to see if I still like it and how much moisture they have together. So yeah, stay tuned. Whew. Okay guys, I am back and I'm getting ready to take down my hair. I almost started taking it down without you guys here and I thought what am I doing so I am back and I am just going to start taking down these flat twists that I did with the Sotanicals Marula Muru Moisture Guru as my styler and the Mango Dip Detangling Slip as my lead-in so My hair has been in these twists for, I believe, two days because they weren't dry the following day. So I let them stay in an extra day. So we're just gonna see. So I'm gonna speed up this takedown and I'll be back.
Okay guys, so I have taken out all the twist and this is what my hair is looking like. As you can see, it does have quite a bit of frizz to it. And I will say that my hair still felt just a little bit damp. And that is strange because two days usually will dry my hair. However, it has been a little colder lately, um, a little bit rainy here. So I don't know if that has something to do with it. It's not as hot. Um, so it could be taking a little bit longer. So that could be it. I will say that my hair is soft. So this Marula Muru Moisture Guru does give a soft hold, but I'm still pretty much feeling like I felt in my first video that, um, that it's a soft hold. I don't know how long the moisture is gonna last because it does feel moisturized but it felt moisturized the last time too. And I think I ended up having to re-moisturize maybe the next day or so. So we'll see. That time I did not use the Mango Dip Detangling Slip. This time I did. So we're gonna see if I get more lasting moisture since I've used this. So I will be looking at how long this lasted as well as a leave-in. So I wanted to share that with you too. I don't have any shine in my hair. I think I said that before. Um, so yeah, I don't know how it's coming across on camera at this point. In person, it doesn't have any shine to it. It's just regular hair. Um, not necessarily dry looking, just, mm, just blah. Just not really any gloss or shine to it at all. So yeah. This is how it looks. It is a little bit more shrunken because this is day one and I use the Demon brush. If you remember, I use the Demon brush to um, get my ends. So to me, when you use a Demon brush, it, excuse me guys, I got on a sweater because it's cold today. But when you use a Demon brush, it draws your hair up. Even if you're using it with a wash and go to define your curls, your curls are gonna be a little bit more springy and drawn up than they would be if you hadn't used it. So I think that does have something to do with, um, what is going on here? This shape over here is crazy. I think that has something to do with how short it's looking, plus it's day one. Now, once I retwist it, it's going to elongate it a little bit and it'll get bigger as the days go on. So I'm not really worried about that. Uh, another tip I am going to tell you is that when, you do, when you're doing a flat twist or even a regular twist out uh, or even a braid out probably, when you take it down and you see some pieces are frizzier than others, like some of my pieces in the back and under here are like a lot more defined than here. And you think, oh, this looks horrible, this looks horrible, this is gonna be a bad hair day. Keep separating. Keep separating to the point where most of your hair looks frizzy. That's what I do because I was looking at this and I was like, ugh, and I just kept separating, kept separating, and I'm gonna continue to separate until it all kind of looks the same. And then it looks like you wanted it that way. It's textured, um, it's a little bit bigger because the more you separate, the bigger it gets. And that's when I get the most compliments is when my hair is big, not necessarily really, really defined, has a little bit of definition, a little bit of frizz, looks like nice, natural hair. Um, that's when I get the most compliments and it's strange. I mean, that had to grow on me. It used to be back in the day, I wanted definition, definition. I wanted the curl, even with a wash and go, I wanted the curls to be so defined and flat and all this kind of stuff. And that was fine and cool then, but now I would rather have definition and frizz and bigness and fullness to show the texture of my hair, the, um, variety in my hair, the um, character of my hair. And to to a lot of people that is, what's beautiful about it is the character, not so much that it is perfectly defined and perfectly flat and you know, every curl is in place. So just keep separating, keep separating until it looks a little bit frizzy in your eyes and see what kind of compliments you get. I'm gonna say that to you. So I have learned to embrace the frizz. 
um, the bigness, the fullness, the out of shapeness of it. That way it looks like this is just my hair. I'm not trying too hard. It's effortless. It is what it is. And I just let it go and I learned to love it. So I just wanted to give that tip to you guys when you're really thinking about this is a bad hair day and I'm going to just put it, put it up in a puff. No, just wear it for a while until and keep looking at it until you get used to it because your hair is beautiful no matter what texture it is um, as long as it's healthy and moisturized if it's if it's a little bit up and flying out of the way if whatever it's beautiful so that's that so what I will say is um, this Marula Maru Moisture Guru, Guru I will continue to use it I don't know that I would purchase it again after I use it up. I'm going to see how I feel in a few days when I go to edit this. Um, it's A lot of it is the smell and the fact that it's just not, it's more of a moisturizer as, instead of a styler in my opinion. Um, and it does say that uh, it's a moist, it's moisture for curly, for coils and kinks. So, the fact that I am using it to uh, do a twist out, I may not be doing it justice. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm gonna give it a few days and see how the moisture lasts. And I'll say if I uh, will repurchase it or not. And the same with the mango dip detangling slip. I felt like it did detangle. I felt like it softened but I know that I won't use it as a detangler. This won't pay the price for it as a detangler, but I'm gonna see how the moisture is in a few days when I go to edit, and I'll put a blurb here like I always do um, to let you know how long the moisture lasted, if I had to re-moisturize, things of that sort. But you know that too on the Mingo Dip Detangling Slip as a leave-in. This is also a moisturizer and also a rinse out conditioner. So if it doesn't have the lasting moisture to me for a leave-in, I will finish it up. I'll use it as a rinse out conditioner. See how I like it as that. So yeah, that's it on these products. Let me know how you like this flat twist out. Let me know how it looks to you. If you've used these products, what do you think about them? How do you use them? Help me out. Maybe I'm not using, I need to use them a different way. So put all that down in the comment section below how you use them, if you use them, what you like about them, what mm, could you wish was different about them. I wanna hear your thoughts and your comments. So leave them, leave it down below. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on Instagram as well as Facebook. And until next time, thanks for watching, bye.